Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to this week's weekly reading vlog. So I'm currently very excited because the copies of the Lexicologist Handbook, which is my upcoming release, they have finally arrived, so that's very exciting. So I'll be doing a video on that. I'm currently still reading The Jesus Incident by Frank Herbert and Bill Ransom. It's a, uh, what can I say, I'm just reading it to get through my unread list. I'm currently on 26 books owned but unread, but I've almost finished this one and then I've got three pretty quick ones to follow. So that'll bring us down to about 22. I've got some more coming in the post as well. But, you know, it's all looking pretty good. I've got Heretics of June there to start, which I'll probably start this week too. And yeah, just being productive. Oh, on my radio show, my guest who I was supposed to have uh, bailed on me and I didn't have time to organize another guest. So um, we're doing a hot, like a, a review special with Twanglin' Jack Ford, he's my friend Dave. Uh, he does a weekly album review. And because I've got so many of them that I haven't aired yet, we're just gonna do an album review show where we have like 15 album reviews. So that'd be cool. Plus I'll link below to the Twanglin' Jack Ford in the Ilk Shed YouTube channel. Um, but he started a YouTube channel where he's been uploading all of these album reviews as well. And basically he's uploaded all the old ones and now he can only do one a week while you know he waits for them to air. So um, by doing a show where I put loads of them in, I give him loads more content he can upload. So do check out Twanglin' Jack Ford in the York Shed below and tell him I sent you. Yeah. Dane Reads. Da, 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 da. Yo, uh, vlog time. It's, what is it? What time is it, Biggie? It's 11.19 p.m., isn't it, Biggie? Yes, it is. Yes, it's 11.19 p.m. On what day is it? Is it Monday? I think it's Monday, don't you? Yes. Oh. You're letting me hold you today because I brought you goodies from the shop. Okay, let's pop you down anyway. Um, so, where are we at? Yes, it's Monday. I had my counselling earlier, so it's been like three weeks since I had that, so that was quite nice. Yes, yeah, see, you found your toy with your treats in. Um, so it was just good to get back to doing that, and I've got like a between session task to do. I had a client call, I went to the art centre to meet someone who's picking up a drum kit, so did all of that shit. Oh, I finished reading, um, what was it, The Jesus Incident. That was like a 3.5 out of 5. It was all right though, kind of quite thought provoking. I then read The Crucible by Arthur Miller, which is a play based on the Salem witch trials, and that was a strong 4.5 out of 5. So shout out again to um, Charlie, uh, who recommended it, said it was one of her favorite plays when I picked it up. And she, I can see why, it was a really good play. I'd love to go and see it perform live. And also there were some really interesting like historical notes about the people involved and like the accuracy of the play and all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously a lot of the character work was just made up because there weren't records of the actual individual characters of these people. But yeah, really cool. Uh, and I'm now reading Refugee Boy by Benjamin Zephaniah, um, which is, I guess you'd call it like young adult fiction about a kid who, um, okay, right. I believe it's Ethiopia and Eritrea were in like a war with each other and this kid was half Ethiopian, half Eritrean. Basically, his parents were facing a lot of discrimination and like his dad was getting beaten up in the streets and stuff. So they brought him to the UK and then basically sort of left him here, being like, you'll be safer here. So uh, I'm only like 60 pages in so far, but it's quite good. I've had that a few things. It's kind of restoring my faith in Benjamin Zephaniah as well, which is good, because I tried to read gangster rap and I just really wasn't getting on with it. So I'm cracking on with that. And then I'm probably gonna read 105 Artist Hands by Callie Trench, so that's good. Um, and then after that, I've got fucking Heretics of June, I think it is. I got loads and loads of vinyls in the post today. I think it was 100 vinyl and I paid like 20 quid. So annoyingly, they came when I was in the middle of a client call. So I had to pause this interview with a potential client so I could go and like accept the post. Um, and there aren't even that many good ones, but mostly I got it for like resale because I can make decentish money on them. Especially, all I need is like two or three of them to be rare ones and then suddenly I'm quids in. Um, so I will be photographing those and putting them on my eBay soon. I need to edit tomorrow's radio show tonight as well, so I need to crack on with that soon. Um, because, yeah, because I haven't done it and it goes out tomorrow. So I think that's really where I'm at. Uh, do I have anything else to add? I don't think I do. I think that's about it. Uh, nothing new from the house, as you might expect. I made a stir fry earlier, which was, which was peng, as the kids say. And uh, I've also got stuff in to make, um, like a really nice, I made it before this, this really, really nice vegan pasta that you can get from Marks and Spencers. Um, but I guess it's like the UK equivalent of something like a Whole Foods or something like that, so it's quite expensive. Um, 
it's like the equivalent of like five dollars for a little pot of pasta so i'm just gonna make my own super batch of it which i did before and was delicious so i have the stuff to make that so i will do that later and then i can just pick up my pasta for a while you know so that's that's where we're at hello everybody it's been a while it's 9 30 p.m on monday the 13th of september house news we're getting there now um Basically, the seller's lawyer needed to confirm something with the seller, then put that in writing to my lawyer, and it's going to take five working days from there. He's sent the questions to, my, to the seller, the seller got back to him immediately, and then he hasn't done anything with it since. But that was today, so maybe he'll do it tomorrow, who knows. But yeah, theoretically, by the end of the month, I should be in the new place, we will see. Um, Update-wise, I'm wearing my t-shirt, all I want to do is play, play guitar and hang out with my cat. Biggie's on it. This came in the post today. Um, life wise and whatnot, let's see. Well, on Friday it was the open mic night at the Wickham Arts Centre, so I hosted that, did some work there. Um, a new person came along, uh, yeah, played some songs, hosted, worked on my laptop, all good. Saturday, just did loads of work. Sunday, did some more work, went to the Sunday Acoustic Jam at the Bellevue, then did some more work. Had my counselling today, did the hoovering, all that boring stuff. I got some books to update you on. I'm just going to whiz through these because I'm going to have to do my wrap up as well and then I've got reviews for them all as well. So I've read 105 Artists Hands Touch Tell Create by Kali Trench. This is like a photo book slash an art book based on this project she did where she took photographs of 105 different artist hands. So quite a cool little project, it's got some little essays in it um, about hands. Just lots of cool stuff about hands really. Uh, my friend's hands are in it, Dan from Decreate. Like photography and stuff. It's a very cool little photo book. Probably like a 3.5 out of 5. The cover is probably the worst thing about it, to be honest. The in interior layout is really good. I read uh, Refugee Boy by Benjamin Zephaniah. So I picked this up from a charity shop. Um, I'd actually previously, Benjamin Zephaniah has been one of those authors who I want to read everything that he's ever published. And I've been putting. And then basically, I picked up a book of his called Gangster Rap. And it wasn't very good, so I DNF'd it and removed him from my list. Then I saw this in a charity shop, picked it up, not realising I'd removed him from my list. And then I've ended up adding him back to it, because I did quite enjoy this one. It's basically like YA, but with like a social consciousness to it. It's about a kid, uh, he comes from, where is he? He comes from uh, Ethiopia and Eritrea. His mum, wait, which way around is it? His father's Ethiopian, his mother's Eritrean. The two countries are at war. And he's kind of at risk, because he's, you know, people from both countries hate him, basically. Um, so his dad brings him to the UK and then kind of leaves leaves him here to try and seek asylum. Probably like 3.5 out of 5, but uh, books like this are very important, so I'm glad it exists. I read Heretics of June by Frank Herbert. Uh, so this is book number 5 in the June series. Um, it's started to go a little bit downhill and kind of lost my interest again uh, after like... I mean books 3 and 4 were probably my two favourites, uh, Children of June and God Emperor of June. But yeah, still some really good stuff in this. I like all the world building a bit. By this point as well, I have enough of an idea of what's going on to kind of follow the action, you know? So uh, yeah, just like a 3.5 out of 5. What else have we got? William Shakespeare's The Clone Wars. William Shakespeare's The Clone Army Attacketh by Ian Dersher. Uh, this is basically, uh, Dersher's written all of the Star Wars movies as Shakespeare style plays. So uh, this is of the Clone Wars. I've actually just finished re-watching the movie as well. Although, basically I re-watched the movie and the movie I have, the copy I have is in French. And then read this in like Shakespearean language. So between the two of them, I basically remembered what was going on. But um, yeah, there's some cool stuff. Yoda speaks in haiku. Jar Jar speaks in his weird patois, but then he kind of, when, when he's the only one on stage, he can talk to the audience like a normal person. So there's lots of fun stuff. Uh, pretty strong 3.5 out of 5. Reality Sandwiches by Alan Ginsberg. 3.5 out of 5 again. You'll notice the theme here. Um, this is just some more Ginsberg poetry. This is one of the Pocket Poets books from City Lights. Um, I only tabbed out three poems in this, so there wasn't a huge amount in this that, that I particularly wanted to share, but it, I mean, it's Ginsberg. It's good stuff, you know? And then we have Five Go Bump in the Night by Enid Blyton, uh, although it's actually by Bruno Vincent, so he's done a series of these. The only thing that I did think just as I ordered this, I realised he's written one called Five Get on the Property Ladder, and I should be reading that considering I'm trying to get on the property ladder. But yeah, this was uh, probably a four out of five actually. 
Uh, it's a parody of the Famous Five books, but the way this is done, it's one of those where there are stories within stories and they're kind of telling each other ghost stories. But they have parodies of like Jekyll and Hyde and um, um, Picture of Dorian Gray and like various other bits and bobs. So if you're a reader slash bookie person who's into the classics, you'll uh, recognise a lot of the stuff in this as well. And it's just funny, you know, it's a four out of five. And I'm now reading Chapter House Dune, which is the sixth Dune book. I'm about coming up to two thirds of the way through. It's all right. It's kind of suffering from the same problem that the first Dune books had really, where um, like the first Dune book, there was like 200 pages just in the desert where nothing happened. And this feels like a lot of time where nothing's really happening. So hey ho, but I am getting through it. Um, then after that, I'm probably gonna read Fragile Things by Neil Gaiman. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Neil Gaiman, so that's I'm still trying to cut down my unread books TBR pile. I think I'm on 24 owned but unread at the moment, which is a bit of a bump up from last time, but I bought my like months worth of books. So um, yeah, I'm still getting there, like heading, heading for like sub 20, and I know reasonably well how I'm gonna get there. Like this Neil Gaiman book is quite short, um, so even if I don't like it, it'll only take me two days to get through it. I've almost finished Chapter House Dune. I've got uh, Asterix et les Normands over there, which is Asterix and the Normans, uh, French graphic novel. So a couple more nights, I'll get through that. I've got about 200 pages left of the Howard Marks drug, uh, Book of Dope stories. It's just, yeah. I mean, it's got a little bit better because before it was loads of tiny excerpts and now we are at least getting like four pages of excerpts. And we had some interesting stuff like an article from the Daily Mail going on about how cannabis consumption can kill you, which is impossible, it doesn't happen. Nobody overdoses on weed. You might get stoned and then fall asleep in the bath and drown or something, but you won't OD on weed. Anyway, getting through that, and then I have Creations by Isaac Asimov, which I'm probably gonna read as a bit of a hybrid, part bedtime book, part main book, because basically there's some really complex, um, non-fiction in there and then there's some good old-fashioned sci-fi as well it's just all about like creation stories and stuff like that so I'll probably rotate that between the two I also have La Chute by Albert Camus uh, it's the French version of The Fall I think it's called um, I mean yeah it could be I'm trying to translate it in my head it could be like The Descent I think it is The Fall um, so I've basically I ordered that on eBay thinking I was getting the English version and they sent me the French version and I'm like okay so I'm going to read the English version first, just so that I can, you know, process it properly. And then I'll read it in French afterwards when it doesn't matter as much if I miss a few of the nuances and stuff. Um, but I've read that because um, uh, uh, Attention on YouTube is going to, he's been doing a series on Camus, it's been really interesting. And I think he said the fall was going to be his next one. So yeah, between a combination of those, I should get down to 20, maybe even sub 20 early next week something like that probably as I'm moving into my new house <laughs> so um, yeah that's where we're at at the moment and uh, this seems like a good place to love you and leave you so as always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video let me know in the comments if you read any of these books and if so what you thought of them hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye